Hey there, how are you? And we are go today we are going to be begin our first class, which is known as the lesson one. And on this part, on our this session, we are going to learn about Katya. And this session is used for people who don't know anything about Katya, and just for beginners. And on this class, we are going to draw this picture. And as you can see, it is there is a 3D object over here, and there are the, front, the views of the 3D object over here. And as you can see, there's many dimensions. So this drawing is just for beginners. So we are going to start the doing the drawing. And when you open the software Katya, this is the box that the dialog box that comes. And in order to do the drawing we need to come here to start mechanical design and part design and it says inter part name and this is the name of the file that we want to file save us and I'm, I'm going to just simply type m1 uh, okay and I'm, I'm going to press ok and here it says there's x xy plane this is a yz plane and this is the zx plane and this we are going to choose on which plane we are going to draw the drawing so First, we will see the 3D object, and as you can see, <coughs> this is the longest side of the 3D object. So, we want the 3D object on the drawing to be like just like this, the just same as like this. So, we are going to choose this plate. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, this is this plate, cause you know, there's something similar about this object and this plane right so after selecting the zx plane we are going to come here and press, uh, press the sketch icon and when we press the x icon I mean the sketch icon it will be like this and now we are going to draw as you can see we are going to draw this view on here so we are going to just simply select rectangle as a rectangle and as I told you there's any dimension so here is the rectangle that is going to be this rectangle and after doing this I'm going to you know exit the workbench and I'm going to give it you know a thickness and the this one is uh, used for giving the object thickness and as you can see it says the length is 20 millimeter and I think this is more than 20 millimeter right so just we'll choose like how about 100 wait a minute how about 100 yeah let's see it and it seems okay right and this is a rectangle part of the drawing this drawing so this is a rectangular 3d object and now we are remained with the cylinder cut part now we are going to build I um, mean draw the cylinder cut part and the cylinder is on this face as you can see the cylinder is you know attached to the rectangular surface on this surface so we are going to press this surface and we are going to press sketch and we are going to draw a circle over here and like this and we are going to press the exit button and while doing this we add and as you can see on the drawing there is some height right so we are going to go to Katya and as I told you we are going to put this one and it says let the is be 100 millimeter and I'm okay with that so this is a preview and the cylinder is here boom and the next part will be the hole you know there's a hole, a cylinder car hole that passes through the cylinder, and as you can see from the hidden line, the hole stops on this box, meaning on this surface. So we are left with uh, drawing the hole, the cylinder car has a square hole, and as you can see, it's on the circle surface. So on here, we are going to press this surface, and we are going to press sketch, and on this sketch, we are going to press this in it's going to be in the middle so uh, we are going to press this circle button and we are going to draw this and like this let's make it as, as if no there's any dimensions so this we are going to do it just simply by approximation and I think it looks just like a center so we are going to press the exit page and and this time we are not going to press this one because we are going to you know 
you know drill the three uh, we are going to drill the cylinder so we are going to press this button called the pocket and while pressing the pocket it says as you can see the hidden line it stops on the surface and we are just simply going to press ok and as you can see as you can see there's a hole in it just like the way we want it and that's how the 3d object is made and in order to you know print it we are going to press the start button and the mechanical design and there is something like called drafting yeah and on this drafting part we are going to wait until it's loading and yeah and it says and which uh, we're going to select the views that we want if you want all the six views we are going to put this one but in case uh, or on the front the bottom and the right one like just like on the picture as you can see there's a front I mean there's a front the top and the right side so we are going to choose this one and we are going to uh, you know choose our for page format like we are going to press the modify and if you want to change the just it states A3 ISO and I'm okay with being A3 and it says uh, portrait and landscape and I'm okay with landscape and I'm going to press OK and I'm going to press OK again here and OK I think yeah and it's loading and these are the all the three waves and this is a A3 paper so we are going to make this drawing fit in this paper so we are going to press the hidden line over here and we are going to press properties over here and then we are going to press view and we are going to change this scope to in order to make it small like how about we make it three and and I want all my drawing to be a hidden line so I'm going to press hidden line and I'm going to press OK and OK and look at that now it's it will fit in you know in the S3 and I'm going to do the same thing to others the other part of the drawing and over here I press three and yeah, of course I want the hidden line to be displayed and I'm going to click OK OK you see this is working and I'm going to do the same thing over here too OK I'm going to one two three I want the hidden lines to be a person. Yeah, and I'm okay with that. Okay, now these all drinks are in here. So I'm left with the 3D object and the frame. Uh, okay, and the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know, I'm going to press this one. Okay, where was it? Where is it? Yeah, I'm going to press the sheet background over here and I'm going to choose a you see this button? This is a you know the borderline and I'm going to you know choose a borderline like I'm going to select here one of the borderlines that I want like either this one or this one or this one so I'm going to go with this one so and I'm going to press apply and I'm going to say okay and as you can see as you can see here is a framework and we are going to edit these names by pressing and double click and if I want I'm going to say as you just like just like the one it says on the paper it says this one mm, if you want if I want to add a drawing over here I'm going to cancel this one I'm going to delete this icon and I'm going to press insert and picture and after you know there will be a box in here and I'm going to put a new picture in this you know box okay uh, I'm left with the 3d object right and and here I'm, <coughs> I'm going to do okay I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to the working view sites and in here I'm going to do this the I'm going to 
plus this one is, it says isometric view and I'm going to press the isometric view and next I'm going to go to the windows and M1 is the previous drawing that I draw so I'm going to go there and I'm going to press this 3D object and now it will come to here and as I, as, as I did earlier in this drawing I'm going to press right click here I'm going to press right click here and I'm going to press right click here mm, I'm going to properties and press 3 and we don't we don't use you know hidden lines on 3D objects so we are not going to touch the hidden lines and I'm going to say OK and I'm going to drag it and I'm going to put it here and the next thing is we are going to you know we must you know remove these papers so I'm going to do this I'm going to properties and I'm going to say uh, you know turn off this display view frames and I'm going to say apply and okay and now you cannot see the hidden lines over here okay we are going to do the same thing for the others too and yeah we are going to okay and Where is it? Okay. And you see, we are left. We did it. Just like the drawing on here. Okay. So this is our lesson one, and thank you for attending this class. And I want you to subscribe this channel so that you can see the next lessons too and thank you very much have a nice time